Hi hey everyone, Scott of the Scott Man, and we are here in Homeforth, England. I was last here in 2015, but I wanted to check out even more of it. And not only that, but film a new video, because I, I've done a video here before, but I need to update it with much better quality. So here I am. But it is great to be back, and we're gonna be checking out the beautiful town, and we're gonna check out some, some of the cool things you can see and do around Homeforth, and then probably get some cool views of the home valley around here too. So, uh, Homeforth is located here in the metropolitan borough of the, of the Kirkleys, located here in West Yorkshire. Over here in the, just to the west of the main square here in Homeforth, you have the last of the Summer Wine exhibition. It is a little museum dedicated to the longest running sitcom in the entire world. Last of the Summer Wine is a very popular show which started in 1973 and went to the late 2000s. More about that as we head inside. The exhibition contains many mementos and information about the legendary comedy series. The series was created by Roy Clark and was filmed in the Homeforth area. The series features a trio of older men getting into youthful misadventures. The most popular trio was Peter Salas, who played Clegg, Brian Wilde, who played Foggy, and of course, Bill Owen, who played Campo. The series ran from 1973 to 2010, and was even said to be Queen Elizabeth II's favorite TV series. I forgot to mention, but yeah, the exhibition is inside the house of, of Campo. And of course, right outside, you also have the cottage where Nora Batty lived in. And you, as a matter of fact, you can even stay there. It's a, it's, it's a B&B. If we come back here in, 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 here in like the main town square, in this alcove, we have Sid's Cafe. This was the exterior of the cafe of Sid and Ivy's Cafe from, from, the, sh uh, from the show. And wasn't filmed inside there, but at least the exterior was. And but and I think for what I read, uh, when when the show was first on the air, it was originally a fish and chip shop. And inside uh, today, you can even get some tea or even some sandwiches. And across the river, home we have the Picture Drome. It's a very popular music theater or music venue. Excuse me. <laughs> But throughout the years, a lot of great acts have performed in there from Adam Ant, the Buzzcocks, the Beat, and even the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And if you're looking for a place to stay here in Home Firth, uh, definitely check out the Old Bridge Inn and Coffee House. Well, it's not only a restaurant, but it's also a hotel. I stayed at that in my last visit here to Home Firth back in 2015. It has very nice rooms inside. Yeah, there's nothing like walking along the nice little river walk along the river home. This is absolutely peaceful. Hello, 
right here in Home First, we're, we're gonna go check out some parks. And over here is one of Home First's many parks. Oh, you want recreational parks. I, I bet you meant car parks. Oh well, all right. But yeah, Home First does have a lot of car parks though. All right, let's go check out some recreational parks. And over here, this is the Sands Recreation Area. It's just a, a, maybe about a mile outside of the, or from the town square of Home Firth along Huddersfield Road. It's a very large park. You got, you got a basketball court, even a playground over on the other side of the river home. It is a perfect place to go on a nice afternoon like this one. There's also another park too that is much closer to downtown Home Firth. Oh yep, yeah, and the long-term car park for Home Firth is located here as well. All right, let's head back in the town. And up here, this is Victoria Park. This is the closest park to downtown Home Firth and a nice peaceful park where you just relax and enjoy the day. But best of all, you got some beautiful views of Home Firth from up here. The views alone make Victoria Park worth visiting. And as you go up Upper Thong Lane from downtown Home Firth up toward Upper Thong, you have St. John's Church. It's a beautiful church. And of course, you got a lot of different graves here on the site, and most importantly, even have the graves for both Bill Owen and Peter Salas. Bill Owen, of course, was Campo in Last of the Summer Wine, and Peter Salas played Clegg in Last of the Summer Wine, and also was the voice of Wallace from Wallace and Gromit. This is such a, a beautiful church and cemetery. But before we conclude this video, we're going to go for a, for a walk up further up there and get some cool views of the valley below. I really enjoy my time here in Home for the little fun facts. I'm gonna be here for another few days. It's kind of like a home base to other different day trips I'm gonna be doing around Northern England. Cause I'm planning to go to both Liverpool and York. York would be like a revisit, but Liverpool I've never been to before. But yeah, around Home for yeah, you got all these different public footpaths that you can take, which could take you into some very scenic areas. The sun has really come out for the evening, and this is such a beautiful way to conclude this video. Yep, absolutely love Home Firth. This area is absolutely beautiful. It's almost like another home to me, kind of like how Winter Park, Colorado is, Boston, Massachusetts, or even Houston, Texas. But yeah, but if you're visiting the United Kingdom, especially England here in West Yorkshire, you definitely have to check out Home Firth. It's a very beautiful area. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of Home Firth, England. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the venture. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you know a new video goes live. Well, thanks for watching, and this is Scott, or The Scott Man, signing out. Mm -hmm.